Hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to my channel, The Empress and the Sun Tarot. This is an angel message for whoever needs to hear it. So please just take whatever message resonates and leave the rest. I was guided to um, deliver this message right now. So here we go. So. The, um, the underlying energy is the Isaiah card. It is a good time for you to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I am watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. And I will just say, you know, we are having the full moon in Scorpio, partial lunar eclipse in Taurus happening um, by 5, 5, 6. So today... Um, you know, the energy, the, the energy is surrounding today. So I feel a complete new energy around me. So I hope you are feeling that as well. Sometimes we feel the energy a day or two early. So um, we, we hope new energy is to come for everybody. And the first card out is the Athena card. It is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. The next card out is the card of Azor, which is your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith and don't try to force things to happen. And then the third card that came out was the Serafina card. I am the angels of family. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. So um, are you... Um, are you ready to bring someone new into your family? And then we are going to use the um, angel tarot cards from um, Bradley Valentine and Dorian Virtue. Um, and the the mess the first cards are the messages from your angels with from Dorian Virtue, and then we will be getting some of these sort of light cards, one for each sign. From the um, Archangel Michael sort of light deck from Radley Valentine as well. So she said we were just going to go one more time. And then we're going to cut them and see what is going on. Um, what message do the angels um, have today? So um, the current energy is the life experience card. Archangel Samuel. A significant life event. A powerful revelation. That leads to change. Time to spread your wings. Are you ready to do that? Are you ready for the change? Are you ready? That is crossed by the three of wands. The three of fire. Abundance. Things look very good. Have patience at this time. Make long-term plans. So um, just know that things, things are changing. And it's divinely guided just the way it's supposed to be happening. And then we are going to get the um, foundation card, which is the five of water. Things not turning out the way you'd hope, not seeing the positive in a situation, crying over spilled milk. But just notice in this card, there are still two cups. They're upright. So at any time, you can decide to let go of the past and decide to pick up the cups and go towards the future because someone's trying to come in. Soon, you know, we the outcome you, you're desiring is, is wanting to come in soon. So you, you just have to make the choice of are you ready to drop those, those you know, are, are you ready to stop paying attention to those broken cups that didn't work? Uh, and she said, we're going to do it a different way than we normally do it. We're going to go to the immediate past card. And that is the three of water, a celebration, a wedding, a graduation or a birth announcement. The need to have more fun. So in, in the recent past, have you decided that you need to have a little more fun? Are, are you are you taking that up now? In, and, you know, the Three of Cups can be about doing that with community. Can also, <clears throat> it can also be third-party energy of the past. Um, and we say that because the headspace is the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Fire. Passionate, adventurous, self-assured. Um, Restless, a sudden event that is needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things through carefully. And sometimes the Knight of Wands is like in and out energy. And you know what? If you're thinking about this energy of being in and out, it 
if you would let go and think something different, the tower would come and, and the wish fulfillment would immediately, immediately be able to come in and, and bringing this person that's trying to come in. The card for the immediate future is the Queen of Fire. The Queen of Wands, confident, warm, intelligent, graceful. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't hesitate or don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. And you know the Queen of Wands, you know what? Right here, Queen of Wands energy, that Athena card, she is standing in her power. And you know what? Ask Source to help guide you. Ask Source to give you the strength and the wisdom to stand in the power of who you are. Your authentic self. And no, being truly authentically you is, is the thing that's going to be your true power. And the card for the environment is the card of um, unity. Archangel Sandoval. Traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations, seek out mentors or like-minded friends. Um, we feel like the archangels are around. So call in Archangel Sandoval. I definitely call in Archangel Sandoval when I'm wanting to do some grounding. So um, if needed, call in Archangel Sandoval, Archangel Samuel. Um, and then we're going to go on to the next card of how other people see you. And that is the card of the wheel, Archangel Michael. He's definitely making an appearance. He is in your environment. Ask him in. Call him in. Say, Archangel Michael, please come and assist me. Please help give me clarity. Please help show me the path of the step I need to take next. How, how can I release this third party energy? And really, you know, because there's the three broken cups right there of the past. There's two cups. All you have to do is say, I want something new. I want something better. I want what I deserve. And ask Archangel Michael to help bring it in because he is definitely in your environment. <clears throat> Excuse me. He is definitely in your environment. All you have to do is call him in. He won't come in and help unless you ask, but he is always there to help. The card for the Hopes and Fears card is the Page of Wands, the Page of Fire. Outgoing, creative, confident, mischievous. News of an exciting new endeavor. Use your originality and ingenuity. Are you ready for this new communication? Are you ready for something brand new? Are you ready? Are you ready for, for the most amazing time of your life? Because the outcome card is the star. Happy times, positive, or make positive, optimistic, long-term plans on the right path. You are on the right path. Keep going. Call, call in the, and that's Archangel Jophiel. Call in the Archangels. They are around. They would like to help. All you have to do is ask them. Um, and anytime you can call them in, we're going to get a couple cards off the bottom of the deck for the underlying energy. And we get the page of air, which is about not having that communication, challenging information, delays or change to plans, truth delivered without tag. Um, the page bear can be logical, honest, impulsive, curious. Normally, it's somebody that's kind of being immature. So either they're either holding that communication back or, or they're a blatant disregard for your feelings. The next card out is the Queen of Water. You know, the Queen of Water is tenderhearted, empathic, patient, loving. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition. Care for yourself and others. Because you know what? As you... As you decide to pull your energy back from that energy that's not serving you and focus on yourself, we get the three of pentacles, which is that, which is that card of contract. And, and it reads, the power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work, be a team player. And for me, this is you have a contract with somebody, this person that's trying to come in, you have a contract with them. Are you doing the healing work? I will say we posted a video today about Chiron. We're going to start doing videos every day about Chiron. Um, you know, it is the wounded healer. And we did post a way that you can heal it without even knowing your birth time. A, a different way to look at it per Celia. So um, we invite you. Take the time. Check out check out the Chiron videos. They, um, we will, I will post them at the end of the video. So, um, 
so you can check it out and see where we are on our latest video. Um, and then the uh, bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords, an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. Don't be afraid. Come from that place of your heart and know that there is something coming for you. And what's coming is the King of Earth. That is husband material. He is definitely husband material. Generous, professional, responsible, practical. A successful time. Confident, confidently accept opportunities you're offered. The Midas touch. Know that it is time for you to step into this energy. For you to attract this energy towards you. As you're doing the healing. So we, we are definitely inviting everyone to... Um, she said, take a look at where your Chiron is and then, you know, take a look at some of our recent videos and, you know, we're going to be, we're going to be sharing our knowledge. It's done so much to help us that we're going to share um, that knowledge, she says, with everyone. So we are um, doing that full steam ahead and we're going to get a card for um, each of the signs. And she said, we are going to start with Scorpio because this is a... Um, full moon in Scorpio. So she said, we're going to, we're going to cut the deck and we're going to just start taking the top card. So Scorpio, you get the card of put your creative energy into action. Archangel Gabriel joins me to spark your creativity, help communicate your vision and motivate you to create something beautiful. So Scorpio, what are you ready to create? Then we're going to move on to Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you get the card of it's almost over. Your current challenges will soon be resolved. You will be able to look at the future with a smile. So wonderful for Sag. Um, and then we get the card for Capricorn. You are ready for more. Your career is growing and blossoming. Now is the time to make changes you have been contemplating. So way to go, Capricorn. We're going to move on to Aquarius. Aquarius, you get the card of pray from the heart. Prayers really can move mountains. Reach out to the divine with your heart's concern and watch miracles unfold. So absolutely true, Aquarius. So we're going to move on to Pisces. Pisces, you get the card of your vibration is rising. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a time for great spiritual growth for you. You are evolving to occupy a higher energetic frequency. Great job. Then we are going to move on to Taurus. We skipped one. Scorpio, <laughs> Sag, Capricorn, Aquarius, Aries. We're going to do Taurus and then the next one's for Pisces because we skipped Pisces. So we don't want to do that. Uh, so Taurus, you get the card. Be the real you. Your greatest power comes from who you truly are. Don't let anyone free, Don't let anyone sway you from expressing your authentic self which is definitely what we were talking about today in the collective Chiron is about being your most authentic self. So um, we are going to go now to Pisces. Pisces, you get the Chi card. It's time to play. You're working too hard and worrying about everything. Seek out joyous experiences to bring balance into your life. And we're going to move on to Gemini. Gemini, you get the card of you will manifest what you need. Ex Express gratitude as if the plan has already come to pass. Trust your angels are bringing you the assistance you need. We're going to move on to cancer. Cancer, you get the card of, yes, you are correct. You have listened to your inner guidance and made a wise choice. Keep moving forward. Wonderful. And then we're going to move on to Leo. Leo, you get the, the card, change is coming. I'm here to guide you through this exciting transformation. This is the time of joyous opportunities. Wonderful, Leo. Then we're going to move on to Virgo. Virgo, you get the cards of angels or heal angels of healing are with you. A time of healing is about to bless your life. Accept Archangel Raphael's emerald green light while I enhance your strength. So, um, Virgo, there you go. And then we're going to do Libra last. Libra, you are protected. You are safe with the bubble of light. You can proceed with confidence. So beautiful energy there for Libra. And she said we're going to take two off the bottom for the collective energy. Trust your angels. Let go of your expectations and trust how you're. 
Let go of your expectations of how your dreams will come true. Trust that the heavens have a perfect plan. And that is always absolutely true. And then the other card is welcome abundance into your life. Prosperity is on the way to you. Have faith. Source, source will heal your financial challenges. So those are the collective energy cards from Archangel Michael. Abundance is coming. Are you ready? Are you ready? You just have to trust it's happening and, and, and be open to receive. Are you open to receive? We hope this message reaches everyone well and you have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye.